Hey guys, welcome back to Popo's Woodworks. Today's project is going to be a miter saw workstation, a cheap one. But uh, basically the reason I'm going to do this, quick background, is I have a miter saw rolling stand, but I keep everything else in my shop, razors, lawnmowers, you name it. And sometimes I have so much junk in here, which right now it's actually clean. I cleaned it yesterday for the first time in forever, so pretty proud of myself. But anyhow, so basically, I want this thing set up to where when I need to come out here and do a quick cut, I can throw the wood on it and cut it. I ain't got to move crap out of the garage just to cut the lumber. So basically, I bought uh, one sheet of OSB, yeah, and I bought OSB. I didn't buy this fancy plywood because it's a miter saw table. Mm -hmm. And then I bought 10 2 by 4 by 8 foots. Probably not going to need all of them, but I didn't want to have to make another trip back to the store, so I went ahead and bought 10 because they're cheap. So, oh, and then I bought two and a half inch decking screws. So basically the entire list of materials, I think I spent $45 at Home Depot. So it's not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I don't really have any plans. I'm gonna look like I do 90% of my stuff. I'm just gonna come off the top of my head. So we're gonna build as we go and I'll try to throw the measurements that I'm gonna use out while I'm building it once I figure them out. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna do mine a little different. As you can see my back wall, this bench was on the back wall and I moved it over here. So I have the table saw, that, that's just gonna have to be there, but I got the table saw and my joiner and I wanna be able to put these two up under the workbench where it's out of the way. So I believe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it about 40 inches high which I'm a tall guy, so it's not really gonna affect me. That way I can still throw these two and slide them up under the work, the uh, miter saw table to get them out of my way when they're not being used. Right here, these are cut because my OSB is two foot wide. So I cut them down to the two foot mark and I cut these down to 32 because if you take the count of the thickness of these two boards, it's gonna give me 35, which is what I'm going for. Because basically this bench right here is eight foot long so i'm gonna stick with the eight foot long but i'm going to uh i'm gonna have of course three sections so you'll have a table here a table on this side and then the one that drops down for the table saw so i'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting making the other frames for this now i'm not doing anything fancy i'm just using tight bond three regular old screws and i'm just gluing them and then screwing them into the ends doing just a the old school butt joint like i said it's a miter saw stand. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get putting these things together. So I cut my legs down, because like I said, I'm gonna make mine abnormally tall. But I went ahead and cut my legs down to 40, 40 and a half inches, I believe, let me see. Yeah, well, let's just make sure. Yeah, 40 and a half inches. So basically all I'm gonna do is, here's the table frame. I'm gonna take them and just stick them in like this. And I'm gonna do one in every corner. So, and I'm also gonna glue it and then screw it in with just two nails, I mean, it ain't going to be holding, this ain't going to be like a workbench. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these attached and then uh, we'll move on along. Thank you. 
So I got the, here's the bottoms of course, I put a center brace for the plywood in the middle. And then I just threw these across to brace those and then put glue and just one screw just to help it sit until the glue dries. But I did the blocks because my concrete over here is so uneven and I didn't want this this flat piece trying to sit up because it's gonna wobble. But that design is what I did as you see here on my other workbenches. That way it gives me clearance up under here and the way I've got this thing braced, which you can't see, I can stand on me and three other guys can stand dead center of that and it, it won't budge at all. So that's where we are now. So I'm gonna get both of these flipped back over and then try to figure out where I'm gonna put the table for the center. All right, so I've got the miter saw frame built and I'm going to attach it right here to each side of the legs and that way it's gonna sit down. But now I gotta figure out, whoops, hitting that with the tripod. I gotta figure out the thickness of my saw so I'll know how far to drop this down. That way that, let me get around here so you can see what I'm talking about. That way my table on my miter saw is gonna be even with the two tables that I built. And of course I gotta take in consideration the thickness of that right there. So let me do some figuring and then we'll get that attached. So here's what I've got, the finished product. And I did something a little different. If you'll notice, on my Microsoft stand, I left this base on here. Let me see if I can get a better picture of that. Because it's got feet, and yeah, you can't, There's, I don't think there's any way to anchor it down because I can still move the saw. But I can still work it all the way to the 50 degrees on both sides, it's level across the top. But the reason I wanted to leave that on is as you can see, it's held on with four bolts and they're a booger to get on and off. But this way, on my downtime, when I ain't really doing much, I'll have the table set up. I'm gonna have it on that back wall and it'll be just like that. And I can do my cuts, the saw's already set up. But if I wanna take the saw off and put it back on my stand, the base is already attached. All I gotta do is set it on there, lock it on, and off I go with it when I need to go somewhere else and use it. Or if I just wanna revert back to my stand. And like I said, you can tell I did these a little high, but I'm gonna put that joiner and the table saw and slide them up under here out of the way, try to keep me some space. But So that right there is it. I'm gonna take this back off and reinforce it because I wanted to make sure it was right because Believe it or not, from the bottom of this to the top is seven, I think seven and three eighths inches. So uh, it's, it's gonna work. But anyhow, let me get this off. I'm gonna finish throwing screws into the edges of that. And if you can tell, all I did was screw them into the side. So basically, took this two by four, screwed it through this way and this side. I don't even have that right there anchored down yet either. But let me button it up and then get it moved against the wall and we'll be done with it. Well, this is what it looks like completely finished. As you can tell, I took my torch and kind of torched it so the two by fours, of the wood rather, didn't look so fresh. Cause you can see everything else I have in my shop is all raggedy and like this bench is wore out. So at least it looks a little older, but, and of course I would have had to build a humongous bench to be able to completely get the joiner and the table saw up under there but they don't stick out that much. It's on the back wall, so it's perfectly fine because I mean, regardless, they were sitting there anyway. So at least I have usable workspace now and make sure I ain't gonna trip over nothing. I got usable workspace now and those are there and it doesn't interfere with me standing in the center and it doesn't really bother me it being so high because technically the table saw is kind of low. But anyway, 
So that's it. That's my version of the miter saw stand. If you got any questions, shoot me a comment. I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. Like I always say, y'all have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.